Hi, this is Dr. Tulip. I'm a bariatric and laparoscopic surgeon practicing at Dr. Tulip's hospital, 4th block, Koromangala. Now this surgery for diabetes is called the metabolic surgery. This is done through tiny holes over the tummy. So we did not cut open the tummy. And uh, what is done is we operate on the stomach and the small intestine. It is called the gastric bypass. So what is happening in the surgery? We divide the stomach into a small portion. And this small portion, a small pouch is attached to the small intestine. Which means we are diverting the food directly from the small gastric pouch into the small intestine. So a majority part of the stomach and the small intestine, the food doesn't enter into. How does this help us? Because we are bypassing that second part of the duodenum, the harmful factor, the duodenal factor is not released. Because this is released only when the food touches that part of the stomach, of the intestine. The other thing is, what we achieve by this bypass is, the food touches, this reaches rather, the uh, lower part of the small intestine, which is called the ileum, very early compared to normally. And this causes release of the GLP-1 hormone normally in three times more than normal. Now what happens by this? This hormone is very good for the pancreas. This stimulates the pancreas and thus the pancreas starts working in a much better way and more insulin sensitization occurs. Normally in type 2 diabetics we have insulin resistance. So by doing this bariatric surgery wherein we do the manipulation of the hormones the pancreas starts working better and the person gets out of insulin resistance. So much so that the very next day of surgery, the patient is totally out of diabetes. This is nearly like a wonder surgery. But we do need to take care. We need to make sure the patient is a type 2 diabetic, has good pancreatic reserve and has and is not underweight. We don't do these surgeries for underweight people. The person should be either overweight or obese.